and away from health, the Nigeria Institute of Electrical, Electronic, Electrical Electronics Engineering has called on the federal government to support the Federal Polytechnic, Ilaro, with more funds and necessary tools to continue to serve as solution providers. The body made this call during the inspection and test ride of the newly designed solar-powered tricycle at the institution. Senior reporter Kazim Olowe reports. In order to continue to serve as solution providers to some of the challenges confronting the country, the federal government has been urged to continue to provide necessary support for the polytechnic sector in the country. With the current price of the premium motor spirit, Nigerians need alternative fuel or energy to operate their machines. While the federal government came up with the compressed natural gas, the federal polytechnic Ilaru also came up with electric tricycle to complement the efforts of the government. I'm happy to enjoy this ride, and of course, this is happening at the Federal Polytechnic Hilaro. This is an innovation. This was actually started from the scratch, right from there was nothing, and they produced this. And of course, uh, it's easy to ride, and they say they can do it, and Nigerians can do it. But a few weeks after the unveiling of the electric power tricycle, the Polytechnic again produced another tricycle powered with solar energy and has capacity to convey six persons at a time. The tricycle also has capacity to reverse. The Nigerian Institute of Electrical Electronics Engineering says this innovation requires necessary support from the federal government and commended the institution. I want to enjoin the government to please, uh, apart from funding the uh, tertiary education, they should also invest heavily into this. When we do this, it's a motivation to the Polytechnic Ilaru and some other institutions around to come up with innovations that will help us tackle challenges we are facing in this country. Imagine if you have a good number of these products in Ogun State, starting from Ogun State, starting with Ogun State, we have a good number of these circulated, I mean, put into circulation. It will ease the burden on uh, people going to work. You are thinking of how do you convey yourself to work when the price of uh, PMS has gone up. The rector of the Polytechnic, Mikhail Akinde, said everything used for the production of the tricycle was sourced locally and it takes them less than a week to produce. He called for more support for the Polytechnic, especially on latest innovation and equipment. The difference in this one is that uh, it can carry five passengers and a driver. Not only that, we also have a solar panel charging the battery. In other words, we can charge the battery via the solar energy. We can also charge it through uh, electricity. So that in a day, once it's fully charged, you can use it without uh, any issues. How come do we import a lot of things in this country? It is because we do not have good attention to the Polytech. A lot of things we do import can be manufactured locally. The director of the Center for Innovation said the tricycle is environmental friendly as it does not require fuel to move and can recharge automatically once there is sunlight. Introducing the solar panel means that as we are using it is also charging. Even if you park, you are waiting to carry your passenger, it is also charging. So there will not be a downtime, uh, a situation where you have to go and recharge. They say the institution in the last two years of the administration of the current rector has added 25 new courses and the latest development was a joint effort of three of the departments. They added that they have also produced a biometric machine that captures attendance of students and lecturers and has capacity to randomly distribute students to examination halls. This federal polytechnic is sending a message to Nigerians and the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria that we can do it if we are determined and ready to do it. They are saying Nigeria can be great again. Kazim Olowe, TVC News, Ilaru.